Hi guys, it's uh, Ash Jones, NWPB. I put a video earlier of uh, me unboxing the DM8. Um, I've put a few rounds through it, I've not recorded it yet though, I'll do that when I get some more paint. Um, let's start off with. Before I get into the gun, we'll go into the handle for the box. Big box. Uh, it's quite a nice box, um, not as nice as the DM9 one that comes, um, so obviously it comes with a case which is easier for getting into the field etc. So I am going to purchase a, 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 a die gun case, but the box comes with it, with uh, examples of the other markers there. open. I cut that because I couldn't be asked taking off the macro lines once you get the gun out. All the stuff that comes with it. Allen keys, eyes. All that business. Got the original trigger there. Well, like a CP trigger right there, something like that. Not too sure. It's nice though. I know some of you might be thinking, dear mine's out, why have I got a dear mate? But it takes me a while to save up for these things. So, we're allowed to change the batteries again. I don't know what's wrong with my camera today. But that's the box anyway. We'll go on to the barrel. This is the um, die well. It's the 14 inch two piece. Um, it's great venting on it, it's nicely ported. Uh, but it's just the well. It's great. No, no, it's not just the well. It's a great barrel, but it's uh, it's no different to any of the well barrel that you've seen on YouTube, etc. Before. Very nice though. Marker itself. For a second hand off PGI forum. Um, off Shimmer Shot. Very very good condition. Very very happy with it. Um, nice clamping feed neck. Works great. It's a uh, nice lot to have to use Allen keys to to loosen it. Grips nice. Works well. It's got the CP plug in there. So uh, I just I find it a bit nicer just to get a better grip in there rather than having to, you know, probably um, have a finger out there because the I don't know what it's called, the older plug that come out there anyway, but it's, it's, it's a nicer firm on there, nicer firm grip. Um, turns on pressing that button, see the light flash there, just put your finger in, see the light change, and then turn the eyes off, it'll flash, then you can hear it. It's in millennium mode at the minute. PSP ramp, I think. Yeah. Turn back off again, just hold that down. Um, I'm not going to run into the internal to share, that'll be another video. But Very nice looking gun, very light. Uh, when you compare it to the E Tech, the one I've got, and the SLG. And the SLG is lighter, but in comparison to the E Tech, which I thought was very light, this is uh, much lighter. The grips are really nice, the the, um, the hourglass shape to the UL frame fits really nice into your hand. Um I'll show you what it looks like with the barrel on. It's cool. That's that's the gun. Um from what I've heard, great efficiency. The rate of fire is unbelievable. So many different modes. There's actually um, there's like two little switches in there. And if you push number two up, it goes into configuration mode. The lights will flash three times, and that's when you can go through changing your settings. Um, I'll get a video of this shooting. 
uh, as soon as possible. Um, hopefully get some paint this weekend. Some more air as well because I'm under a thousand psi on the tank. Um, although I've got about 200 balls left, I'm under a thousand psi on the tank, like I said, so perhaps I might just film that. Um, let me know if you want me to do that or if you'd rather I waited to get some more paint and do put a couple of uh, maybe put a thousand balls through it so you can see some, I don't know, efficiency type testing. Not that I'm any mic from Tech PB, but if you'd like to see it, let me know. I've got no problem doing that. So, uh, yeah, cheers for watching again. Cheers.